In this lesson, I will give you an idea about geometric relation. First, I will take a new sketch on front plane. Then, I will create a new rectangle. Then, I will create a circle at the middle. To make it more precise, I will put few dimension. You do not need to learn how to put the dimension right now because I will discuss about this dimension later in another lesson. Now my goal is to put this circle at the middle of this rectangle. In that case I can put one dimension from side to the center of the circle. Right now this is 150 so I can put 150 divided by 2. Also the same thing from bottom to the center of the circle. 40 and I will put the dimension of the circle. Now you can see this circle exactly at the middle of this rectangle. But when I will change my dimension, let's say if I change from 80 to 150 and 150 to 225, you will see this is not exactly in the center. So that means I am not controlling based on this overall dimension. If I want to control based on overall dimension, I can also do that by using geometric relation. If I use geometric relation, on this circle in that case i do not need to put this two dimension this circle will be at the center always so let's try to do that first delete this two dimension now i will select this middle point and this point both together then i will put a vertical geometric relation also the same thing from this horizontal relation. Now I put two geometric relation, all green flag you are seeing here, all are geometric relation. Now I put two geometric relation. Now if I change from 250 to 150 and 150 to 80, you will see this is always at the center. That means I am getting more control on my sketch. This is the main power of geometric relation and dimension. By combining this geometric relation and dimension, you can get ultimate control on your sketch also as well as on your part.